get tucked in, mask up. Got a no heat call. I mean, I'm sorry, no cooling call. Try to find out what it's doing. It's a brand new house. Shouldn't be having issues. Can we turn it off? Let me set turn okay. yeah. It's up here. Now you gotta do it press on. You know, you know how yeah, I know how to work. Okay. Cool. And uh, as far as the condenser on the outside, I can use the gate to, to get around back. I think you can. It, it's unlocked. Uh, uh, Ain't no lock or nothing. No. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. Okay. All right. So 89. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to turn it to cool. Make sure we're blowing. Hey. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna pick my head up here. Make sure the uh, see if that's all right. Switch look good. So suction line warm. I need to go get some more tools, so I'm, I'm gonna use the front. All right. So, something going on out here. 89 degrees. is running. It's about a road 100 PSI. This thing probably got some kind of leak in it. Better 
got some kind of leak. I'm gonna put some gauges on. And I hope I got a lock, to, a lock for that. Whatever prison we got, a, they got a lock and key on there, so hopefully one of these work. Some might be different. It's a universal lock and key. Hopefully oh, that'll work, but I believe we low on refrigerant with just a weekend, so this might be a little top and go. It's a brand new unit. New, constru new construction. I do a lot of work for a realtor. So uh should be under warranty. story short this key did not work the camera wasn't recording but it's a trick that you can get these off just drill a, a screw that you get out the panel drill it in so these screws are probably about this long so you can dr drill it in that far and once you drill it in but you gotta 
We got a hold of pliers. Got to get a pair of pliers and hold them with the channel locks. Drew the screw, I mean, screw the screw all the way in, about that far. And then uh, you can just twist it on off. But the JB industry, I got one to fit these, but unfortunately it's on my key ring on the other truck. Anyway, this thing running with 18 PSI pressure in there. Has zero on my suction, 50 on my high side. And whenever I see something like this, I got a feeling that, uh, but this, like I say, this new construction, somebody wrote 180 PSI on that, probably doing startup because they probably left their charge overnight, knowing that it was a leak. So the leak probably wasn't repaired correctly. Um, like I said, it's the weekend, so I'll probably just get them up and look on. And they, uh, I might do a quick leak search, I don't know. But I'll probably just get them up and going. I don't see any residue out here. Like I said, because I don't know how the new construction work, how far as the warranty go, so. Yep, just gonna charge them up. Right, so I got the refrigerator. I'm just gonna charge it for a service call and charging up the, the unit. It's the weekend. They can't, can't get in contact with the builder. I don't know how that works. So they, if the builder don't warrant it, I'll come out here and do a leak search and a proper repair. Since I have 18 PSI, I have some kind of pressure up in here. I was gonna bring out the H10 Pro. Say it holds 8.6. And I bet you about seven pounds, so it's a nice leak. It's 2019, October. vacuum anything so this thing weighs five pounds so it got exactly about 8.5 pounds in here so right now I'm just gonna open this up on the liquid side put as much in there as I can and then we'll charge it by sub cooling They need a nine degree sub cool. So since I'm putting this in here though, like I say, hopefully it's, I get them by for the uh, weekend. But I'll probably take the H10 Pro and go sniff up there around the evaporator coil. I can, I can just throw it in that drain if I get an alert. I kind of got to figure where it's at. But I had a unit just like this a couple days ago. It was leaking at the uh, discharge on the compressor. Same style carrier unit, but, but I don't see any kind of residue out here. All right, so that's probably pretty much all it's gonna take. So I have about four more pounds in this cylinder. So we're gonna 
gonna hook up while I hook this up and check the sub cooling. Look at that big titty right there. Yeah, that's all it's gonna take. So we'll put the rest of it in by the such. So when they called me out here, they said it was just blowing cool air. I thought it was just capacitor, but. All right, so I need to contact these guys right here. I ain't gonna put their name on here though, but. That's where they need to contact. So, of course we still low. It's gonna take the rest of this drum though, I know that. So, 410A, usually I charge it real slow, but I know for a fact I'm gonna need at least 8.6, or somewhere at least eight pounds probably. That sucker almost flat. Yeah, I'm gonna visually look around, make sure ain't nothing just spewing out. Yeah, I forgot, um, I'm sorry, I was wrong. So 14A drum weighs nine pounds. So I had 13 to start. So I gotta go get some more refrigerant. R22 drum weighs nine, I mean five pounds. So this is a 25 pound drum. You can see I'm at eight points. So I started off at 13, five, 15. Right, at, let's say 14 pounds. I'm at eight right now. So that's what that nine, 10, 11, 12. As you see, I need to get that sub cooling up to nine degrees. So we're still short. Make sure I got this right. So 13, one, five. Take away 8.15. Yeah, so we got exactly five pounds in there. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go get some more refrigerant. We're gonna need probably about three or four more pounds. Yeah, this key right here didn't even work, so. So we just had a webinar for those that don't know appliance boot camp we did a webinar this morning and uh went pretty good so those people that hadn't decided what kind of trade they want go over to appliance boot camps 
Sign up for the seal system course. We had a seal system course this morning. It went pretty good. So, so one thing about HVAC, to, to get your license in HVAC, most states you gotta do a minimum of four or five years working with a company. If you wanna do appliance, and you wanna just start your own business, you don't have to have nobody to co-sign you. You know, you can take a take one of these online courses, like applying boot camp, and he show you how to start your business. You know? So y'all go over there and check that out. Check that out, sign up for that course. Even if you just do eight back and you go to houses, especially if you're doing your own thing and uh, want to make some extra money, you can go to his uh, website, Plans Boot Camp, learn how to work on refrigerators, washing dryers. Uh, garage door openers. That's funny that I say that because this landlord here wants me to look at the uh, garage door. Let me show you here. See, when you there, do me a favor, look at the garage door. I don't do garage door though. But that'd be a nice course. Take. So I'm gonna zero that bad boy there out. I know I'm gonna need about three more pounds. I still got one degree sub cooling. I'm gonna go ahead and put about two and a half, three pounds in there and then start charging up real slow. I let that run I'm going to uh, get the leak detector and go sniff around a little bit so we let that run about 10, 10 minutes until I get back So they called me and thought it was a thermostat. They wanted me to FaceTime and all of this. So I asked them, was the uh, unit running at all? They said, yeah, fan on the outside blowing. I said, well, it ain't no thermostat issue then, because the thermostat calling for it, doing the supposed to do. So I asked her to feel the air up top. And she said it was cool. So I thought it uh, was maybe a capacitor, but I ain't, I ain't rich. I forgot it was a brand new construction, so that capacitor shouldn't have went out that quick. So I really wasn't prepared to be charging these units up, but we gotta do what we gotta do.
Yeah, yeah, I'm going out. guy want me to look at the garage door so I might have to sign up for that garage door class lock right there sign up for that garage door class myself glad I came back up here I would have forgot my meter so all I'm gonna do one of my videos somebody said that uh Made some kind of remark and say that I uh, just stick my uh, H10 Pro in the drain. So, the reason I stick it in the drain because the homeowner not paying me to do no leak check. I'm really doing this for myself. So when they pay me to do a leak search, if, if this uh, leak detector go off in that drain or anywhere up here, I know my leak is up here. So they want to pay me for a leak check. I know to come and look at this evaporator coil. You know, that just saved me time. So I'm not charging them right now to do no leak, sir. You know, especially taking all this off. All this hard, uh, <clears throat> all this here. Cause so I don't even know if I'm gonna get the job. I don't know if it's on the warranty or anything. But I was in this situation once before and uh, no, I just stick that H10 Pro. Cause this, this drain right here, all the air coming through this drain. So all the refrigerant, if you got a good leak, it'll go off. If it goes off. So right now, just letting that H10 Pro warm up. And if it goes off, I know my leak is in this coil somewhere. You know? And this coil under warranty, if I get in it, I'm not trying, this probably aluminum coil anyway. But if it's under warranty, I'm not trying to pinpoint no leak. I'm not fit to try to fix the leak. I'm just gonna replace the coil. You know, if you want somebody to pinpoint a leak and fix it, you can hire somebody to do that. But I, I don't do that. It's a, it's a case coil right here. I call care. You get this serial number. Just take this out and slide me a new coil up in there. I'm not fit to be fixing no coil. So let's see what we got. Sometimes best to do this turning the unit off. But I want to see what it's going to do. You don't want to stick it too far in there. See, with me doing this, see that getting faster right there? I know it's in this car. What that front is switching. See, it's getting faster. See, I'm already sensing something up here. Come on. See that there? Right, let me slow it down. His 18 Pro bass, he's off. He's sensing something in his attic. And what's this? See it speeding up. See that? So all they're telling me, see, it's leaking. See how fast it's going? See that? See, that means the leak is in the evaporator coil. See that? See that? I mean, that's just a trick. Somebody say I spent all that money trying to, and you I'm not trying to pinpoint no leak on no coil that's under warranty. So, like I say, somebody want to pay me to, uh, you know, take all this stuff here off. 
I'll find exactly where the leak at. But like I say, that's that's all I wanted to do. You know, just make sure. So now I know it's not leaking outside. It's leaking up here somewhere. My leak detector went off. So I'm going to take uh so I'm gonna tell the homeowner that the vibrator cord leaking. They can find the per person that installed it and put it in. Or if they want me to put it in, I'm gonna get the modern serial number on this cord here. And I'll put a new coil in. There you go. All right. All right. So like I say, that's usually how I do a quick free leak search. You know, always a method to the madness. I'm always doing something for a reason. I don't th I don't do things just because. You know, and what I'm doing is not against the law. You know, I don't have to charge. You know, for everything I do. So like I say, if they do call me back out here, I got a general idea of where to leak at. So. All right, so we still a little short here. I got 1.8. Let's put a little more in here. We're not gonna put no more than a half a pound. So I got about exactly three pounds now it's still gonna be short it's a 90 degrees in there Yes, a method to the madness, huh? Every move is a calculated step, especially when you're in business for yourself. You know, you run it how you want to run it. See, a lot of, a lot of guys be watching videos, super tech. They be like, should have did this, should have did that. Say, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense, though. You know, you working for somebody, you do it. Do how they want it done. But, but you know, best you get paid by the hour. Well, I know a lot of people out there, especially this residential style work, commission based. All my stuff flat rate. Let's put a little more in there. Eight pounds there. What the tag say? Eight point six. So that's about eight point twelve. So we got enough. Make enough for that. Let that run for a minute. We don't want to overcharge it. Check that super heat. See what that super heat look like. A storm coming on the way down. Let's see 
what we got here. Yeah. All right, we got some old eyeball capacitors. About got a three, seven point five, thirty-five three. So, for any homeowners out here checking out the channel, like I say, that's for entertainment purposes only. So we keep, try to keep a fully stocked truck. Got motors, refrigerant, capacitor, contactor. Pretty much everything you need. Probably got it to get you up and going. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna try our best to take care of you. Check some super heat. Now I'm gonna get out of here. Like I said, I know I got a leak. I hate to be uh, trying to put a perfect charge on this thing. no more in there so we find that leak the whole 8.6 8.6 too I got exactly 10 pounds in there eight degree sub cooling 8.5 action for nine So that part, <clears throat> like I said, that's about a perfect uh, charge right there. So uh, I, I ain't putting no more in there. We ain't putting no more in there. That's good, man. Could have got the rest out the line, but I don't even want that in there. We good. All right, let's see here. Could have sucked the rest of that in there, but we all right. Hi, Bruce. 
I don't know if I want to put them caps back on there, but I got a key for these, so I'll, I'll go ahead and put them back on there. Like I say, remember when you when you uh putting that out there, I'm gonna pause there. So real quick, if you ever get in that bind, you need to take these off. Like I say, they just screw them back on like this. So now they lock. And you see they won't come off like this. And nothing you can do to get them off. So it's becoming a law in Texas. Any unit that's on the outside has to have these locks. So you want to put this right here and just stick this in here, about right there. You kind of feel it, and then once you feel it, you can you can bring it on out like that. But you gotta have these channel locks on here, just like that. You can take them on off. And put this one back on. Yeah, so you ever get in that bind, you can't get these off. Channel locks. Try to use the, very important, try to use the screw that come out the unit. You can do it with a self tapper, but you don't want to mess up that straighter valve. So these little short screws that come from the unit is perfect. All right, let me go speak to the homeowner, tell them they're gonna have to either contact the builder or we can come out and replace that coil. I'm gonna talk to the real estate guy and see what he wanna do.